Well, I have two concerns. First, you will have uh, 2019 dominated by two elections, and there's risk, of course, that the momentum for reforms will slow down, that everyone will concentrate on political maneuvering, and no one will take care of what really needs to be done also during the remaining part of this year and next year in terms of reforms. That's my number one concern. The number two concern related to that is, of course, that we get sort of an upsurge in general populism. Uh, that people say we don't really need to do anything, uh, we need to go back on some reforms and things like that, and that it will be even more difficult after the election to continue with the reforms. So those are my two fairly big concerns. Another big issue is election is uh, I mean uh, peacekeeper mich uh, mission in Donbas. Mm, we've heard that there will be no mission before the elections. What are your vision of the the possibilities? Of I don't know. Um, it's all depending on what does the Kremlin want to do. Um, I thought there were some signs of, slight signs of the Kremlin starting to reconsider and see Donbass as a, really a burden, I mean, for, for, for Russia and being interested to move. Uh, there were some expectations that we could see something after the Russian presidential election. We have seen nothing. And uh, now there's a lot of speculation that they will wait until after your elections. I, I think we simply don't know. Mm, another question. Uh, the next year is decisive for European commissions. What are your prospects? What is your vision of what could happen in the, on this European level? Well, same thing there. It's going to be the election year. We have elections to the European Parliament in May. And we have, after that, of course, the new appointment of the Commission, of the President of the Council. Uh, so the entire sort of setup of leading bodies and of leading personalities in the European Union will change. And uh, that is obviously of importance. And we do that in a situation where the political situation in certain European countries is rather fragile at the moment. And maybe a separate question about focused on Sweden. So we followed the election in Sweden, so we are quite anxious about the results. Uh, there is no coalition so far. Uh, what can we expect now? It will have to wait the new parliament assembling, uh, getting together. That will happen in, not this Monday, but the Monday after the next. And then the, uh, the present prime minister will be uh, defeated in parliament. Uh, that begins the formal process of forming a new government, consultations. That will take some time. I think it will end up in some sort of minority coalition government. Um, I don't think it's going to have any major impact on the foreign and security and European policy orientation of Sweden. Uh, but we'll see exactly the composition of the government. I think it's going to be a centre-right minority government um, at the end of the day.